an exciting season ahead for Canopy Dance. Joining me today to talk about what's new for this season is Canopy's artistic director, Lisa Thorell. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So your first show of the season coming up here in just a few weeks, Polaris. Uh -huh. Tell us a little bit about uh, what people can expect from this one. Well, it's a very joyous, exciting mm -hmm. show. We have some guest stars in um, Danielle Petua Soto, who was a world-class artist with the Jose Limon Dance Company, uh, worldwide, internationally renowned, and also Daystar Rosalie Jones, who is an indigenous uh, dance choreographer and runs her own company. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be an exciting, exciting blend of modern dance, Afro-Columbian ry rhythms, and, um, and some indigenous dance art artworks so lots of different cultures you know taking part in that you know why is it so important to to give these cultures and backgrounds a stage well I think we don't see it enough and what's so beautiful is when you blend contemporary mm -hmm. modern dance with folk dance mm -hmm. and indigenous people's art dance you get this beautiful fusion of mm -hmm. work, and that's what we want to bring to the stage so people can see that. And uh, Danielle and Daystar are phenomenal choreographers as well, so it's a rare treat to see them. Mm -hmm. um, Danielle lives in New York City, Daystar in upstate New York. They travel the world, and so it's a really rare, wonderful opportunity. Mm -hmm. Plus, they are both very lovely charismatic people <laughs> and very down to earth. Well, we are happy to have them here soon in Madison. You're also getting ready in a few weeks for the winter performance. Tell us a little bit about that one and what can you share? Yeah, so coming up again, all these performances are at the Overture Center for the Arts. Um, and coming up is in December is our Winter Fantasia Reimagined. And that runs December 5 through 8. Mm -hmm. And it's a holiday multicultural celebration. We have some uh, dance folk tales mm -hmm. celebrating the solstice and winter elves and fairies and um, also uh, a garba indian dance work um, by our guest ubdav desai um, and so all of these are celebrating that the time of year mm -hmm. you know the holiday yeah. and being cozy and the solstice um, so it it really is family friendly but also everybody will really enjoy it the sure. the uh also, we have on there is sort of a homage to Hollywood musicals okay. uh, from the 40s. Something for everybody if yep. you've never experienced it before. So like Lisa said, you can find those performances at the Overture Center for the Arts. Here are those dates once again. You can get your tickets online at the Overture Center's website. Lisa, thank you so much for being here and thank best you. of luck. Thank you.